So now our main focus in GeoGebra is team education. And uh, I will give you some examples of what we are doing in this team education. 현재 지오지브라의 교육을 이 포커스는 이제 스팀 에듀케이션입니다. 그래서 몇 가지 사례를 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. So there is many different ways to to define steam education. So including the arts and so on, and also how to, to define art. We define more the arts with the creativity, creation, creating something which engage the students and motivate the students. To, to learn different kind of subjects and, uh, and so on. Yeah, the STEAM education is also very diverse. We are talking about the STEAM education. 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 And also, the STEAM education provides a very good platform. Or uh, interdisciplinarity or transdisciplinarity of different subjects. So the, the Finnish curriculum is, uh, is already part of STEAM, and I know that it's becoming very important in Korea as well. Yeah, so <coughs> STEAM education is a good platform for all the different subjects. So, the STEAM education is a good platform for all the different subjects. So, the STEAM education is a good platform for all the different subjects. So, the STEAM education is a good platform for all the different subjects. So, the STEAM education is a good platform for all the different subjects. So my colleague, Pam Bernard, in Cambridge, they run a, a, a survey on, a, on STEAM education. So there is a book which is surveying that what is STEAM education in the, in the in, in education. So it is shifting the policy. So many of the, many of the, of the, the curriculum is changing to STEAM because even though the students can achieve high on the exams, they might not be interested, they might not like mathematics or uh, other subjects, but STEAM could provide uh, a way to, to, to engage and motivate students, and then they become more creative. Yeah. 지금 이제 캠브리지에서 같이 연구하시는 그런 분께서 이제 책을 내셨는데 STEAM Education에 대한 그런 내용의 책입니다. 그래서 어 여러 가지 이제 그런 어떤 조사들이 이제 담겨져 있는데 어, 학생들이 이제 좋은 성학 속에서 이제 평가에서 좋은 성취를 보임에도 불구하고 학생들이 이제 좀더 어, <웃음> 좀 흥미를 가지고 좀더 참여하고 동기부여를 받을 수 있도록 하는 그 그런 것에 대해서 이제 스팀으로부터 그런 걸 받을 수 있도록 하, 하고자 하는 것입니다. So it's transdisciplinary is very important and also all the creative pedagogies and also how we can develop new ways of learning. What I talked about is experimentation, discovery learning, collaboration, uh, learning by doing, designing uh, things, playfulness, uh, games, constructions. So there is, there is very important areas and there is millions of different ways to be able to do this kind of um, design pedagogies to engage students in a much deeper level than just learning for the test. So, the, the, the question is, there is a very famous book is the, the society, society of Mind by Larry Minsky, that do we really need to teach in this uh, century because the knowledge is, is really available everywhere? And also, what is mathematics? What is art? And what, what is, who is the author? What is the creativity? What is the, the risk-taking, the, the originality? And what is problem-solving? So we really need to rethink for the 21st century education, whether we really need to teach or just engage students and then giving them motivation, giving them interesting ideas. In then, then that case, we could promote creativity and, uh, and promote new kind of learning. Mm. 
어, 21세기에 이제 교육, 교육을 하, 하는 것이 이제 필요한가 그런 것에 대해서 이제 생각을 할 때, 이, 그, 소사이어티 마인드라는 이제 멀빈 민스키의 저자의 그런, 그런 책이 있는데, 그런 것으로부터 이제 얘기가 됩니다. 그 여기 이제 주제들이 이제 있는데, 크리티코트나 아니면 그 보기에 이런 내용들에 대해서 이제, 어, 좀더 이제 좋은 것들은 프로모트하는 그런 시키는 그런 것들을 좀 생각하고 있습니다. So since technology is becoming more available, and also the society is changing because there is artificial intelligence and the robots are, are changing the, the, the way how we are, how the, how the work and the job and so on. So that's why we really need to rethink of the, of the job of the, the teacher as well. So how do we educate teachers for the future rather than someone who is transmitting the information or someone who is uh, creating collaboration in the classroom to, to have a new creative minds which job will be important rather than the, the robots are taking their own, taking their jobs. <laughs> so, STEAM education is already part of the, the national curriculum in, uh, in Finland. So there is an experiment, STEAM Ed, which is uh, doing this interdisciplinary, multi disciplinary <coughs> learning and you can read about these kind of things from the from Finland and what they want to do in Finland is uh, is erasing the subjects so there will be no separate mathematics physics history literature but what they do is a topic and the teachers are working together on on really multidisciplinary way to explore a topic from mathematical, literature, history, physics point of view. And it's very important that students are engaged with their hands and with their minds and with their, 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 their technology as well. 예, 뭐 실행을 직접 학생이 하거나 아니면은 이제 생각하거나 아니면 테크놀로지로 활용하는 그런 것들이 이제 중요해요. So they are redesigning the whole curriculum from from the traditional for that we did for hundreds of centuries. Now there should be a new kind of education. And it's a very brave move to move from from uh, subjects to to this uh, transdisciplinary. 예, 그래서. 어, 간학문적인 어떤 그런 것은 이제 상당히 용기 있는 접근인데 수백 년간에 이어졌던 그런 어떤 교육적 전통을 이제 넘어서 새로운 그 교육적인 그 방법을 나가는 거죠. So then that is very important that we, we start with the subjects and then we start to, to connect these subjects and then this multidisciplinarity that there is some kind of connection interdisciplinarity which means we connect physics and mathematics and so on, but what we probably want to aim is transdisciplinarity, which is engaging the, the students, the teachers, the subjects, the technology, so everything is connected and, and, and involved. So we try to do in this kind of research how to do this transdisciplinarity and then also how to link and connect subjects and also to develop exercises for this uh, kind of subjects. So we have a lot of books 
which you can use. And uh, as in GeoGebra, everything is available for free. You can download all of these books. There are lots of these transdisciplinary exercises and, um, and uh, examples. So you can use all of this for free. <coughs> 예, 인터넷에서 자유롭게 다운로드를 받으실 수 있는데 트랜스 디스플레이너리에 대한 그런 관련된 자료입니다. So, but my colleague uh, Christoph is also involved in some way into the curriculum, uh, um, the, the Korean curriculum. So it's very good to see that Korea is moving into this STEAM and transdisciplinary movement. <웃음> And it's very good that already the, the policy is engaged in this STEAM thinking, which is really ahead of the, the world in many ways. So congratulations. And I know that this, it could be quite difficult in, uh, in Korea because uh, these tests are very important for the students and then it's, it's very competitive. But we need to educate the society, we need to ed educate the teachers, the, the parents, so on, that it's more important for, for students to, to have deeper knowledge and creativity and also happiness in, in some way, rather than just having a high score in the test, because for the, the future work and then for the, the future education, it's much more important in this, in this kind of whole person happiness and, 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 uh, and working this, because the test, robot can take the test. <laughs> <laughs> 예, 시험은 뭐 로봇이 봐도 상관이 없겠죠. 그런데 어, 사실 중요한 것은 교육에서 중요한 것은 창의성과 행복이다. 그런 것을 위해서 이제 사회를 교육하고 또 사람들과 학부모님, 학부모님들 뭐 이런 분들을 다 교육해 나가는 것이 필요하다. 말씀하셨습니다. And also the STEAM approach is providing an opportunity to integrate technology. Because many times technology is added to the curriculum and then it doesn't really help. And also involving innovative tools like 4D frame and, and also make the students much more engaged and much more happy in the, in the classroom and not only take the, the course because it's have to, but because they like to, to take it. Yeah. 어, 좀더 이제 좋아해야 되는 것이죠. 그래서 어, 이것이 이제 기준의 걸 갖다 하는 게 아니라 포디 프레임과 같이 혁신적인 그런 그, 그, 것을 가지고 이제 교육을 새로 이제 만들어 나가야 됩니다. So students can work on their own problems. They can design their own, own, own problems. And also doing things which is important for, for students. And then in then that case, they just don't want to just finish the, the class. But also really engage with, uh, with the creation of these things, and then then it it will be much more valuable for the, the future of the economy, future of the society, than just finishing the test and then get uh, a job. Yeah, the so good luck. <laughs> for this. And, uh, and I would be very happy to 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 be engaged with this kind of work and this kind of research because we have lots of experiences and I'm very interested that how uh, Korea as a as a more like a test-based uh, education system turns into, into STEAM because in Finland it's easy because they have been doing it for many many years but now they are doing it but Korea it would be a very big transition from test 
steam, Finland it's okay. So they, they are doing it anyway. Yeah, so if you go to a, a school in Finland, it looks more like a playground rather than a school. But here, I think if you go to a school, it really looks like a school. So, <laughs> so that, that, that's why I would be very happy to, to work with you to turn your schools into playgrounds. <laughs> and you will see more students smiling, even more teachers smiling. <laughs> and uh, I think that, that will be very good for, for the creative economy, for startups, for, for, for things, rather than just focusing on the exams. <laughs> so, I would like to give you some examples that of what we are doing uh, with this, and then we are very happy to be involved in this with, uh, with the Korean friends, because uh, our more, most uh, of this connecting physical and digital world is, uh, is done with 4D frame, we do other things, but it's a, it's a very innovative tool. So you can use it in your, in your classrooms as well. And um, my colleague Christoph in Finland and uh, Diego in uh, <coughs> Minsk, and he's from Brazil, uh, working on this physical digital connection. And it's very important to have this physical digital connection because the students are very different from us. They are living in a parallel universe. The, the, the physical reality and the, the digital reality is not separate for them. It's separate for us, but not, not for them. <coughs> 현실하고 또 디지털 현실은 서로 분리되어 있는 거라고 보다는 그게 평행적인 것이죠. 우리에게는 기성세대에게는 분리되어 있으나 학생들에게는 그렇지 않습니다. So it's very important to do this link between physical and digital because for example we went to a tour with the students in, uh, in Austria but close to the German border and the students start, started to ask, that, where are we now? We are in Austria or Germany or something. And it turned out that we know the landscape and the maps much better in Minecraft than in, uh, than in the physical world. They are much more familiar with, uh, with the virtual reality than, than, than the physical maps. In Minecraft. 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 Yeah. 예, 그 마인크래프트라고 MS에서 제공하는 게임이 있는데 요새 많이 교육 현장에 적용이 되고 있습니다. 그래서 이제 오스트리아의 학생들과 독일의 학생들이 서로 이제 사실 언어 같잖아요. 그래서 이제 서로 얘기를 하는데 근데 마인크래프트에서는 하나로 이제 연결이 되는 거죠. Yeah, so they live in, in this game worlds and then so on. They are very familiar. They are somewhat familiar with the physical world. <laughs> <laughs> so then that's why we need to engage in education to connect physical and digital world. And for example, 4D frame and GeoGebra is a very good example. So probably you know this stone, right? Did you yeah, know? yeah. Yes. yeah you, you e, know. E yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you can build this dome in 4D frame and uh, you can engage students working with each other and then it's a, it's a very good activity for modeling and, and so on. But 
creating a new world and then also exploring in this kind of world, <coughs> GeoGebra is a, is a very good tool to, to do this. Yeah. 2D 프레임으로 학생들과 실제로 구조물을 건축하는 것은 굉장히 좋은 활동인데요. GeoGebra도 mm -hmm. 이것에 이제 구현을 할 수가 있습니다. So in that case, you can do the explorations of the angles, <coughs> the patterns, mm -hmm. then, and, and so on. Mm -hmm. So the, the phys physical world gives the motivation, mm -hmm. and then you can do the exploration, mm -hmm. you can do new designs, and then you can put it back into the physical mm -hmm. reality as well. So then that's why it would be very interesting to do some research on, on 4D frame and GeoGebra to cre create activities. I recommend it for you as well. Because, and then also engaging masters and PhD students and, and so on, because th this is a, a very interesting way to, to connect these two digital worlds and it's called for STEAM education and uh, because it's Korean this is just perfect for you to, to do research on GeoGebra and 4 different. Yeah, 그래서 사실 저한테도 말씀을 하셨어요. 같이 결합한 그런 분들 이제 얘기를 하셨고 어, 4D 프레임과 GeoGebra를 서로 이제 연결하는 것은 이제 사실 한국의 그게 원류니까 훨씬 더 적합한 그런 것이라고 생각이 되는 것이죠. Yeah, so it could be a, a very interesting and important research to, to do in Korea, but it will be good for the, the whole world as well, because it's a, it's a very good way to, to, to do STEAM education. So, but beyond the, this kind of work, we, we can work on, on, the, on the topic. So we can use the geodesic dome as a kind of half-year project to, to learn about geometry, algebra, physical work, this is digital work, culture, history, architecture, and, and so on. So for example, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Half a year? Half a year course? Or whatever, 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's up yeah. to you. So you can have it in one hour, you can have it in a week, you can have it in six months. Because there is so that the creativity is a very rich activity. Yeah, and let me show you. So Christoph is involved with this 4D frame project and then also building the first largest ice stone. <coughs> it's very difficult to build an ice stone because ice is very heavy, but this um, Structure the geodesic dome is very strong, so they build an ice dome with 40 meters of, uh, of um, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Geodesic dome 자체가 이제 견고하기 때문에 아이스 어, 얼음이 이제 무거움에도 불구하고 이렇게 잘 만들어질 수가 있었어요. 쉬운 일은 아니지만 그래서 어, 이게 40 미터 정도의 그 다이아메터리 40 미터. 지금이 40 미터인 그런. So it became one of the most important uh, STEAM projects in Finland because there were like 7,000 students involved and then they had the exhibitions and science <coughs> and workshops in the, in the ice dome and it, it's become very important to engage students in STEAM learning. Yeah, and also one, what you can do, you can explore this geodesic dome idea in architecture, so if this is in, uh, in the Disney World, this is the, uh, in the uh, North uh, Pole, and then there are different kinds of houses, and also Natalia is also my PhD student, who is working on origami, mathematics, and, uh, and connecting mathematics, origami, geogebra, and computer coding as well. So uh, this is 
cultural, physical, architecture, all of this kind of world is, uh, is connected. 그 굉장히 다양하게 뭐 문화적으로는 여러 가지 면에서 이렇게 뭐 서로 만들어낼 수가 있는데 보시는 바와 같이 이제 종이 접기부터 시작해서 이제 굉장히 큰그 건축물까지도 지우지 동물로 이제 나타나게 됩니다. Or you can do mathematical <웃음> 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 So steam education. <laughs> yes, so we also work with lots of artists. So this is the Arts Electronica Festival, which is organized in Linz every year. We have about 40,000 visitors. Yes, 4만 명 정도가 참여하는 그런 어, 리치에서 이제 주최된 아르스 엘렉트로니카라는 그런 예술 어, 이, 그런 이제 뭐 대회라고 할수 있겠네요. 그래서 이제 많은 예술가들도 함께 하고 계시다고 합니다. So last year the topic was artificial intelligence. The whole artificial intelligence is changing our uh, our reality, our lives, and then how we can connect it to education. 인공지능은 이제 우리 현실에 이제 많이 다가와 있는데 어, 이 교육에까지도 이제 변화를 가져오고 있습니다. So what we do is try to create creativity, create your own world. So we were running some workshops on on robotic uh, dome and uh, different kind of robotics workshops. We were looking at uh, 4D frame or uh, uh, 3D. So you can uh, do. Yeah. You can translate. You can watch the video. Yeah. If you want to translate, this is just interesting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he's a very famous artist on uh, robotics, so he's uh, creating this artificial intelligence and robotics. He has exhibitions in New York and so on, and we work together with him. 굉장히 유명하신 인공지능과 로보틱스의 유명하신 분이시라고 합니다. And of course, for the frame is important. 네, 4D 프레임도 함께 하고 있습니다. But also what we can do, we can connect history and mathematics and science and arts. So Diego is working on, uh, on recreating Leonardo da Vinci's work. Yeah. Uh, Diego so you can create this Leonardo in 4D frame. So you can find all of these materials on the, on the GeoGebra website. Of course, you can find it at Hogwarts office. <laughs> so for example, you can recreate the bridges of, um, of Leonardo. So they are created with uh, wood and, uh, and GeoGebra. So <laughs> and also you can do steam activities in school, so you can create catapults. Yeah. Of course you need to be careful of the, of the school windows. <laughs> Did it break oh, no. the window? <laughs> so I recommend it for you in your school. <laughs> but of course you can do it in Porto frame, which is a real important thing. And also you can do it in GeoGebra as well. So, so it's also a transdisciplinarity. 
that you conduct history, mm. mathematics, physics, geometry, science, and the, all of them, the, the issues with which is created. The students are created by their hands, mm. and they're creating a digital world, and then you can do the exploration of all of these activities. Yeah. 어, 트랜스포트 스폰더로의 좀 단점으로 하여서 어, 물리적으로도 만들고 또 디지털로도 학생들이 실제로 이제 만들어 보는 그런 과정을 했다고 합니다. So we like four different because it which is also includes the, the robotics. So robotics and coding and mathematics and geometry is uh, it's very much uh, connected to drones. So you can do this transdisciplinary learning in the in the different physical and digital environments. Physical and digital 학습에 있어서 이제 또 새로운 그 코디 프레임 같은 경우는 이제 로봇으로 포함하고 있기 때문에 더 흥미를 가지고 계시다 봅니다. And also you can include gamification. So you can have this robot board. <laughs> and also, one not is cool is that you can create the the drones. So all should you should make some drones. <laughs> So I was very fortunate to be in the in the in the 4D frame headquarters. <laughs> yeah, the yes, so it's very very important. Yeah, 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 which is Kids Inspire Kids, it's supported by the European Union. So what we try to do is, we try to ask the students that how they would inspire their peers, the other students, for learning STEAM. So the, the students are creating activities and then they are teaching other kids. So we need to learn from the kids that what would be inspiring for them. Yeah. 학생, 아니, 학생이 다른 학생들에게 이제 스팀을 할수 있도록 어, 도움을 제공하는 것인데요. 그래서 어, 교수님은 이제 그런 다른 학생들에게 스팀을 어, 영감을 불어넣을 수 있도록 하기 위한 그런 원하는 학생들에게 어, 전달을 해주면 그 학생들이 또 다른 학생들에게 전달을 한다고 합니다. So the STEAM, STEAM activities, this physical digital connection, robotics, drones, uh, computer coding, and, uh, and arts, is all should be involved in, in these activities. And then you can see that students are doing these projects exactly the same way as we, we imagine the whole STEAM has to be done. Yeah. 스팀을 다양한 거, 피지컬 디지털, 뭐 코딩, 뭐 여러 가지 영역에서 이제 하게 되잖아요. 그래서 이제 그런 것들을 또 다른 학생들에게 하게 되는데 그것들이 이제 바로 스팀이라는 것이죠. So we do lots of these works in, in Finland, and uh, we encourage you to be part of the, the activities because we can learn from each other. Or if you organize something in Korea, then we can connect it with uh, this international network. So I would be happy to talk about it and then engage in, in this, this kind of STEAM work together. Yeah, Finland is on the work that is done. So in Finland, also, 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 and robotics. The microbit나 러스베르 파이라는 그런 어 소형 굉장히 소형인 그런 컴퓨터가 요즘에 많이 교육에 활용이 되고 있어요. 그리고 그런 것을 가지고서 또 다른 그 스팀과 또 연결해서 이제 하는 작업들을 좀 말씀하고 계십니다. And we also one is very important in design. So we work with artists and architects and designers because. 
this is design. <laughs> because uh, when you can have millions of tablets, but what you need to do is design something well, or the, with the phone is a design. The, the, this is design. So we need to learn, need to teach, or not, not teach, engage students to, to design new things. Because uh, technology or learning is, is becoming as important <coughs> as, as the design to create something new, <coughs> create something which is uh, which is uh, interesting. Yeah, 새로운 것을 만드는 것이 이제 전체적으로 중요하게 되잖아요. 그래서 컴퓨터와 어떤 그런 것들을 설계하는 거, 그러니까 뭐 예를 들어 타블릿이나 핸드폰이나 물병이나 뭐 이런 것들을 다 학생들이 어, 설계를 할 수가 있는 그런 것들을 하는 것 자체가 행위 자체가 디자인이라는 것이죠. 그래서 그런 것들이 이제 중요하게 됩니다. So designing physical objects or shapes. But also designing uh, computers, in designing computer programming, designing lights or, or drawn uh, pictures or light play, uh, painting. So design is becoming a very important part because that is what the the, comp the, the robots and the AI is very difficult to replicate the imagination of, uh, of humans. So we try to run these workshops and we find that design and also this creativity really need to engage uh, artists, artists, mathematicians, designers in this work. So for example, this is the a workshop which we run on robotics and 4D frame in the European uh, design, uh, European research night. Oh, <coughs> design the uh, night. Light. Night. Night. Design night. night, which is uh, oh. day in the evening when, the evening when everywhere in Europe, all the universities yeah. invite kids to, yeah. to do uh, research and, oh. and, and design. Oh. Ah, design night. <laughs> <laughs> we also run conferences on STEAM, so we will have probably 10 um, STEAM conferences. So this uh, month we will run a GeoGebra and STEAM conference in, in South Africa, in Port Elizabeth, at the uh, Nelson Mandela University. And in the Cape Town Design Week in August. Cape Town. And uh, what, what we try to do is engage artists, but engage students. So this is a competition in South Africa to um, to design art with GeoGebra. So you can also do this. So you can encourage your students to create arts, your creativity, and then submit their work for uh, for GeoGebra. So we run a project on African arts, how to use the, the culture and the, the local arts to, to teach mathematics and, and science. So it could be done in Korea as well, that you have uh, lots of cultural events, architecture, and pictures, and, and so on. Turn it into GeoGebra and then teach this uh, for students. And it's very interesting for them. And uh, we always run these workshops at um, 
at the Arts Electronica Festival. So in September we will have the Arts Electronica Festival and we will do a lot of 3D printing. Yes, the Arts Electronica is and uh, we also organized the Bridges Conference, which is the world's largest mathematics, art, architecture, and cultural conference. So in July, it will be in Sweden. So there will be probably 300 artists, and two 300 mathematicians, and uh, mathematics educators to work on mathematical arts. Yeah, the Bridge Conference in Sweden. 이제 혹시 들어보셨습니까? Bridge Conference. 예, 수학에서는 좀 이게 유명하게 됐는데요. 그, 그 수학과 예술, 음악, 어, 건축, 교육, 문화 같은 것을 통합적으로 다 하는 그런 학회입니다. 그, 어, 스웨덴에 있으며 2, 300명의 그런 참가자가 있습니다. And also in July we run a summer school in Israel on, uh, on GeoGebra and Jewish arts. So we engage researchers, teachers and students to, to look at um, arts from Israel yeah. and then Jewish arts. Yeah. And we have a very important conference in June uh, and this is on digital technologies and then Half of the conference will be on Steam, so this is in Portugal. In October, we will have uh, a conference in Cambridge on the uh, interdisciplinary bridges across cultures and creativities. At home, we can engage creativity. Three weeks ago, we had a creativity conference in Leeds. Yeah. And I think it's all relevant for the, the Korean effort for the for the for So this is a project Math in Motion, which is uh, teaching mathematics with dancing and uh, and uh, and drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in October we will have a conference here in Bangkok. So this is the uh, bridging computational thinking from uh, 18 to 20 October. So it would be nice to come. But on the 17th of October we have the, the, the GeoGebra Asia conference. So if you could come to, to Bangkok and then on the 21st we run workshops on Steam for local teachers and for researchers. So there will be lots of team activities in Bangkok in October in GeoGebra. And also the European Union is uh, is engaged in uh, STEAM education. So now the priorities of the EU will be on the STEAM education. So Christoph is one of the advisors for the European Commission. So you can watch the full STEAM education come to Europe. So this is a video of uh, Chris Christoph lecture, so you can download it and uh, use this. And uh, as I said, we work on, on the learning analytics. So there will be a conference in Denmark on learning analytics, how to use the, the big data. And also I run a workshop on learning analytics in it. So if you would like to come, then you are very welcome. Yeah. The learning analytics and the learning analytics are also in this class. And also next year we will organize the Bridges Conference in Linz. So this is the most important. So this will be the world's largest 
arts and mathematics conference in Leeds. It's connected to two conferences. Yeah, and then probably in Georgia, probably words um, um, football better in here as well. Yeah. But we don't know yet. Yeah, yeah well, British conference uh, is in the next year. Tomorrow, we will have to go. So, the community is also electronic. We will see each other. We will see each other. Okay. So, I have lots of more examples. Do you want to hear more? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. 많은데 좀 듣고 싶으신지 아니면 질문을 좀 하시면서 좀 커뮤니케이션 하는 시간을 갖는 게 어떨까요? Mm. Maybe, maybe I give um, five more minutes. <laughs> so, okay. So, <laughs> what you can do is you can create games. So that, that is an also project. So you can create games online and offline. So this is the GeoGebra game. But you create this GeoGebra game, and then you can do 3D printing, and then you can have it in, the, in your, your work. It, it involves problem solving and so on. This is a design of an of a award winning game. We just had a workshop on this. And then students are creating games, which is a lot of interdisciplinary work. And also, the, the, the possibility of 3D printing. We work with uh, 3D printing artists to, to create a physical version and digital connection as well. And, uh, and what is very important that we work in, uh, in uh, different parts of the world. We are running workshops in Israel with, uh, with Homo, and then we are creating these robots in the, in the desert. He was our dream leader, uh, Boaz, to, to do this, also in these kind of workshops. And also, as I said, mathematical arts with culture. And that is very important that this is Israeli culture, but you should look at uh, Korean arts. And uh, this is workshops in Kazakhstan with robots. But what we try to do is these cultural artifacts. So you can use mandalas, which is part of every culture. What do you want to translate? Mandalas is magic. Okay, and then we are running festivals on, the, on creating mandalas with, with hands and then so on. But we also create with the vegetables. And then we eat the vegetables together with the, the students and explaining symmetry through these vegetables. <laughs> and of course you can do the, this kind of things in, in, in GeoGebra as well. And uh, with different kind of tools for 3D modeling. And uh, what we do is it's running music and computer coding. So this is with Rosemary Pi. So this is a project in Cambridge. Yeah. 모습에 라스베리 파일을 가지고 코딩을 가지고 음악과 빛 이런 것들을 같이 연계해서 하는 그런 프로젝트로 캠브리지에서 진행되고 있습니다. So students are write computer code and it turns into music and then they are to DJ and yeah 코드로 DJ를 하는 것과 같은. And this is very good because in this kind of music and dance and that so on we can engage lots of girls who are not interested in mathematics and science, but through music and steam, we can involve lots of girls in this, uh, this kind of project. And I give you some examples of the Bridges conference. So it's all um, uh, arts, you know him? He's uh, at the room. Who is the inventor of the Rubik's Cube? Oh. He's, a, he's a designer, so we need to engage him. And uh, so this is interesting. She's a, a mathematician and an artist, and then she's creating. Um, she collects sand from all over the world and she's creating these mandalas from the home from France. And yeah. 
conference and then you will make the album. And then the end of the conference, she composed music and dance based on mathematics. And then she is dancing on the mother, so that, that is the closing event of the, of the, the conference. <laughs> yeah, and then we always create big, this is a DNA that we give a, a small piece of, uh, of this work to everyone. And then four-year-old kids with a Nobel Prize winner, physicists, building together these kind of structures. Okay, this, these are some of the parts which is exhibited in, uh, in Bridges Conference. So we, we try to engage artists who are working on this. Or Students create their own pancake, and then we have a pancake printer, so the students can print pancakes. So I think I have lots of things to show. I skipped a lot of uh, things, but what I want to say that it would be very nice to collaborate with you, with researchers, with students, and uh, I really encourage you to, to, to work uh, together. So, I think I should see. Thank you.